we will be taking a look at the histology of the cerebellum and the spinal cord. The cytoarchitecture of the cerebellum is uniform throughout its entire extent. In this way, it is different from that of the cerebral cortex. The histology of the cerebrum varies in the neocortical and the allocortical regions. So what are the cells that make up the cerebellar cortex? There are the Purkinje cells, which are these flask-shaped or pear-shaped cells. The branched dendritic tree that emerges from these cells extends into the layer above it in a plane which is transverse to that of the long axis of the folia. The other cells that can be seen in the cerebellar cortex are the granule cells, the stellate cells, the basket cells and the Golgi cells. This is a section to the folia of the cerebellum. We can see that there is a layer of pyre matter which covers the surface of the cerebellum. The outermost layer of the cerebellar cortex is the molecular layer. Internal to this is the intermediate or the middle Purkinje cell layer. This is followed by the innermost granular layer. Next to it is which we have the white matter. The white matter contains the fibers which are efferent and efferent from and to the cerebellar cortex. This includes the mossy and the climbing fibers and the axons of the Purkinje cells. The outer molecular layer is made up of the dendritic arborizations of the Purkinje cells. We can also see stellate cells and basket cells in this layer. It is also called the plexiform layer. The Purkinje cell layer is unique that it is only a single cell thick and it is made up of uniformly spaced Purkinje cells which are pear-shaped or flask-shaped. Deep to it is the intensely staining granular layer which contains densely packed small granule cells. Golgi cells are also present in this layer. Take a look at this low power focus of the cerebellum and try to identify the layers. Note down your answers. Once you have noted down the answers, press resume. The outermost layer is the molecular layer, followed by the single cell thick Purkinje cell layer, the intensely staining granular cell layer, and the white matter. The spinal cord. Let us remember that in the spinal cord there is the head shape or butterfly shaped gray matter which is located internally and the white matter is located externally. The gray matter shows the anterior horn which contains the multipolar neurons, the cell bodies of the motor neurons. There is a posterior horn. In the thoracic and the upper lumbar regions, there is a smaller lateral horn which gives rise to the sympathetic fibers. The outer white matter contains myelinated axons which are arranged into the anterolateral 
and the posterior white columns. The central canal of the spinal cord is lined by ependymal cells. This is a high power section in which we can see the cell bodies of the motor neurons which are multipolar in nature, have an open nucleus with a prominent nucleolus.